Good evening or afternoon, everybody. It's RPI Women's Soccer here on RPI TV. As it's the engineers taking on Vassar in a very crucial Liberty League game. Engineers come in. The number 22 team in the country recently moving into the top 25. They're 9-2-0. And Vassar at 5-5-1. Uh, and one. But the Brewers are 3-0 and in the league. And they've been on fire as of recently. They've scored 18 goals in their last four games. Here's Alex Zampetta settling the ball down for Emily Kaplan, the star freshman forward. Dropping it back as a shot by Waterman. Tipped away. Rebound Zampetta over the top. Some early chances here for the engineers. Big time chance for RPI to get things started. Early in this game, a big save by senior goalkeeper Stephanie Topolski for the Brewers. So here is Waterman, one of the three seniors honored before today's game. It is senior day. Seems a little early, but just kind of how the schedule worked things out. Kaplan trying to get up for the header. It's one instead. Uh, by the Brewers. Megan Coughlin, sophomore center back from Duluth, Minnesota. Headed in the air. Winslow trying to settle. It'll finally come down to Vassar. They'll try to control here in the midfield. Sarah Sepper. New Hyde Park, New York. Working the ball deep into RPI territory. It's going to be Hanson wide. Uh, for the right back, sophomore Matty Steinmetz, and the engineers are out. Zampetta trying to settle and trips up one of the Brewers after the ball was gone. But it will be a foul on the senior striker. RPI reunion and homecoming weekend is always a busy one, and this is the final home game of the weekend for RPI Athletics. And uh, as I mentioned, it's a big one. RPI 1-1 one one in the league. They only lost to number one William Smith last Saturday. But really, if things kind of play out as they could and maybe should, this game is for that final home playoff spot. These are two of the top teams in the Liberty League along with William Smith. Good clearance there by May ahead for Waterman. Waterman's pass in the middle could be trouble as the engineers give it away. McFarland rolling one into the box and Joey Lyons off her line as she often does. We'll track this down. The ball cleared away. Still at the top of the box, McFarland drops it back. Sepper. In the corner now, that McFarland just plays it off of Jen Nestor. Nestor in there. Because the engineers are out, one of, one of their uh, top center backs, K starter Katie Mann, is out. And so the engineers are relying on uh, the sophomore here, Nestor, or junior rather. It's a shot blocked. Second effort goes wide.
This ball will roll out near the sideline. And now Zampetta. Back for Richard.
12 minutes in here, no score, RPI and Vassar. Engineers with a couple of corners there. Here's Corey Winslow, outside of the foot touch for freshman on the left back there. Moreau, and now it's Richard back for Waterman. Long ball over the top. Out to claim it is Topolsky. Ball played out to the wing, too far for the intended target. That's Gabriel Deach, a freshman from Princeton, New Jersey. on the attack here in the midfield. It's Krasinski. Sophomore midfielder dropping it back uh, to the left back. Who played the ball in. Here's Zimpetta looking to turn. And it's a good one. Trying to slot it through for Richard who kind of slowed up her run and then uh, passed a lot of pace on it. Anyway. Rolled all the way through. Here's a ball into Winslow. Very heavy touch and it'll be tracked down. Rainy day here in Troy. It was cloudy earlier for the football game that was played earlier today. RPI and Hobart. The engineers coming back to win that game. They're down 10-0 at halftime. They came back and won the thing 21-17. Uh, in fact, they were down by uh, three with a minute left and drove all the way down the field and scored. RPI women's soccer here looking for similar luck. The engineers 9-2 on the season. Tremendous start to the year. Won't mean as much if RPI can't pull things out and deliver in the league schedule. RPI uh, and uh, in the Liberty League. Here's Jackie Richard. She scored la last time out. There's a shot turned away. Well struck, and now Winslow will track it down. Back for Moreau. Gets it on her right. Cuts it back, and that will be cleared out. Stepping into it, Nestor. She does battle there with Rebecca Andrews. Run out for a Vassar throw in. RPI men's soccer losing today 3 2 to the Brewers in Poughkeepsie. Goals from Devin Bond, his seventh, and Brandon Purog, the freshman's first collegiate tally there. Here we have a 0 0 game. In the 16th minute, Bethany Hansen, junior from Fullerton, California, will slug this one up the field. Waterman is wearing a big old uh, cast on that left hand. Looks like a club that you see, might see a linebacker wear. Has to be careful where she swings that left arm around. Former Sienna Saint. D1 school here in the Capital Region. So the ball flicked on. Waterman will track it down and play it back for Hansen, who tries to play through the midfield for... 
uh, the freshman Richard. Her ball out wide for Steinmetz. Off the mark, it'll be a throw to the Brewers. Shots are 4-1 to one RPI early, thanks to a couple of corners. Jackie Richard picking up a goal for RPI in the, its last win. It came on Wednesday against Rutgers Camden here at East Campus Stadium. Emily Kaplan with her sixth goal of the year, won it in overtime, 101st minute. Engineers with two overtime wins on the year, both of them won by Kaplan. Correction there, the other game was uh, over Western Connecticut State and it was Kenzie Waterman who scored on a penalty kick in that game. I'm sure there's some of you correcting me in your living rooms. Yes, it was Waterman who scored on a penalty to beat Western Connecticut State in Farmingdale at the uh, Rams Classic to the season opening kind of kickoff tournament. RPI won both games. They beat the host Rams 1-0 on a goal by Kaplan. I was right about that at least. It was not in overtime, but then a penalty kick goal. Two one nothing wins for RPI to start the season. It's been that kind of year for RPI. Sometimes getting just enough. They also have wins of 3 nothing over New Paltz and 4-1 to one over Manhattanville. Nestor trying to track this down. is played backward. A lot of pressure from Deitch, the freshman, for the Brewers. Whistle here and a foul on the Brewers. Kaplan is offside. She's done a good job of staying onside most of the year. Haven't seen too many offside calls against the engineers in general, but that time a little bit ahead of the play. And really, she doesn't have to be with a substitution coming up here for Vassar. And it's not going to be allowed. Because it's an offside, not a ball out of play. Ball in over Nestor's head. Flicked on. Deitch trying to get onto it. Out wide for McFarland, a junior from Redwood City, California. Into the middle. It's Sepper. She gets tangled up. Hands it off for Trusinski. And now it's headed in the air. Cleared out to center, Zampetta trying to track it down. It bounces on uh, Carolina Alvarez a bit. And now Steph May can't corral it. Waterman's there to clean things up. Wide for Winslow. Can she keep it in is the question. Yes, she'll try to turn it up the wing. On a Boston spawn, New York, it's Winslow. Has some room. Right-footed shot over the top. It hit off the football crossbar. I don't think I've seen a ball hit is hard off the foot of Corey Winslow as we saw it right there. Tremendous rip from Winslow. Looking for the top right corner. The Brewers never came to her. No one closed down Winslow and she nearly gave RPI the lead. What a hit with the right foot. She got everything she had behind it. But in the end it goes down as a miss.
Engineers back on the attack. It's May. 1-2 with Richard, and that one cleared out in the end. Into Richard's feet. Tackled away. McFarland trying to uh, track it down. Played back to the center back, Coughlin. She'll loft it into the midfield. Nobody wants it. Some miscommunication there between a couple of Brewers. And it's going to be Pillsbury to win it back. Lavelle played into the feet of Coughlin. Or the substitution, uh, Rory Chipman, rather. Senior from Almeida, California. Up the wing, and it's the center back out wide. Nestor to just play it up and out of play. Long shot, it'll be held easily uh, by Lyons. Her punt gets to midfield, headed right back the other way. Trying to work it wide, too far out in front of Sepper, the engineers will have a throw. A little over 20 minutes left in the first half. RPI and Vassar from East Campus Stadium, RPI TV, with a little bit of a Double dip here. Football and women's soccer. A couple of big league games. kick here. and handled Chipman, the Vassar substitute. We have a long throw coming up here for the Engineers. They'll send up Bethany Hansen. I was talking to her the other day. Her parents were here last week, and she said he got she got the uh, the muscles for these these throw-ins from from uh, swimming, which makes a lot of sense. She's found out she was able to throw the ball so far. It became a weapon for every team she's been on, and now uh, that one's flicked out. 
for a uh, goal kick. No score here. We have 17... 17 and a half minutes to play. Hanson. Loose ball. Winslow trying to win it. Now Zampetta. Engineers have numbers forward. Zampetta turning. Trying to feed it inside for Winslow. Stepping in to take it away is Krasinski. Steinmetz back for Hansen. Lobbing it on for Kaplan. Headed towards the sideline. And Kaplan will win a throw in. Quickly into Zampetta. Back for May. May. Crossfield ball on the floor. And that one... Swept out by the Brewers. Now Moreau, good job to shield here. Cuts it back and keeps it in. Into the feet of Richard. Good one touch with Moreau. It skips by her out of play. Shots are 5-2, Engineers. 3-1 on goal. Trying to slow down this red-hot faster team. They scored four against St. Lawrence and four against New Paul's. They've really been tearing it up. RPI, one of the best defensive teams in the country, numbers-wise. They've allowed four goals all season. This one runs all the way to Kaplan. She has six of RPI's goals on the season. Team leader, now Richard. Dropping it back. Some pressure, but the cross comes in. Headed down by Winslow. Right-footed shot is blocked. And not out of the danger area yet. They give it away. Moreau. Shot in. Headed in the air. Another clearing try. RPI beckoning uh, for a uh, handball. Not going to get it. We're going to throw in coming. Apologize for the technical difficulties. RPI with a, a goal here. We get it sorted out. It came off a long throw from Bethany Hansen. Just like we were talking about earlier. Might even be an own goal. So I'm going to have to watch that again a couple more times. Anyway, Vassar on the tack here. Ball crossed in. That one caroms around. And it'll be played in towards the end line. Out for a goal kick. Yep. Own goal on the Brewers there, causing the engineers to take a 1 0 lead.
own goal on the Brewers is the official scoring here. And we have 12.45 left in the first half. Good job to shield here. This is Sepper, high cross in. Up is Lyons, gets a fist to it. And in the end, May clears it out for a Vassar corner. Here's the corner kick. It'll be number three, Kelsey Ham, the senior from Wilmington, North Carolina, to take it. In swinger from the left side, headed away by Hansett. Confident header from the junior center back there. We get a whistle here and a foul. Played quickly by the engineers and turned right back around by the Brewers. They're quick on the attack and their ball blocked out. Another corner coming up. Headed away again by the engineers. Castrolan. Flicking on further. Now Hansen again does the job. Here comes Hansen to take another long throw in. Ten and a half to go. In the half, an own goal against the Brewers. In a similar situation, has the engineers in front. Here's the throw. Headed towards the top of the 18. Castrolan just into the game, dropping it back. Moreau has to come over and help. Not a lot on the pass, and it's intercepted. Sepper, or make it, uh, it was Sepper, into the middle, dropping it back. Dangerous times there for the engineers. Now May gives it away. And numbers now for the Brewers. Sarah Sepper playing it wide. Andrews into the box, flicking it on goal, and the same is made outside of the right foot. Really all Andrews could do with it there, and it turns into a save for Lions. Coughlin with a header. Castrolan battles for it. The freshman from Conroe, Texas, who came on for Waterman just a bit ago. Ball played back across the middle of the field. Through the middle from Lavelle. May got a touch to it. Back come the Brewers. McFarland slips it past. Steinmetz, but nobody else there except for Hansen, and she'll hammer it up the wing.
Under seven to go in the first half. A couple more substitutions as Sarah Harper comes on for Jackie Richard. And a bit ago, Megan Lecko for Zimpetta. Brewers are winning some of the physical battles in this game. But right now, it's RPI in the lead, of course. Nestor just whacks that one out of danger, and now it's going to be Winslow. Harper ran out of time, but was able to get the pass off for May. She'll play it back for Hansen. Steinmetz has swung all the way up the wing. But Hansel will just uh, play it to the Brewers' back line. Little between the legs flick on. The engineers have it red. Steinmetz in, and now Nestor played it through Krasinski. And then it was Letko trying to find Winslow. That pass was intercepted. Shots are 6-3 RPI, two corners apiece. The goal was an own goal. Through the midfield, it's Andrews. This will run out for goal kick, seen out by Chen Nestor, a junior, five foot nine from Lansdale, Pennsylvania. She has played admirably at center back in place of Katie Mann. Winning a header there was Andrews. Right back into the box and Lyons way out there to grab it. Joey Lyons at 5-6 from Harwood, Maryland. Has been fantastic in goal all season. She started 11 games so far. 9 and 2 record, 6 shutouts on the 11 games. 0.37 goals against average and 915 save percentage. May gets to it. Let go, can't control it. Krasinski intercepting. Ball over the top. Castrolan accidentally heads it backwards, but right to May. Lots of space on the near side, and RPL look to use it here. Janine Moreau on the move. Freshman from Litchfield, Connecticut. Stopping at the corner of the 18, trying to slide it through. Picked off again by Krasinski. She's done a great job at that holding midfield spot for Vassar. Now Andrews looking to move the ball on the dribble. Wide for the left back, Alvarez. She'll play it all the way up, but out is the goalkeeper. Lyons, she's left-footed, but used her right well there to find May. Steinmetz over the top for Letko. Chesting it down, out of play. Throw into Vassar. We have a substitution here for the Brewers. Emily Krebs comes on for McFarland. And now a foul on Vassar. Free kick for RPI right around midfield with 2.48 left in the first half. Headed on. And a push to the back. They're going to call on Sarah Harper. Harper the junior from Farmington, Utah. Spent some time in outside back last year, but she's been in the midfield all this season for RPI. Right now partnering with Castrolon and May. Moreau settles on the thigh. Castrolon touches it towards the sideline. Turns away from trouble to find Nestor. Her left-footed ball over the top. Headed right back. Krasinski. Well played into the feet of Chipman. Castrolan has it taken right back by Krasinski. Oh, 
Coughlin slams it right into Letko. And she'll get some help there as Lavelle clears it away. It's been a midfield battle for much of this game. No true winner yet of that uh, game within the game, but it's faster looking to move up the wing. It'll run just out of play. It was, uh, excuse me, Winslow doing the defending from her left wing spot, something she does so well. Plenty of energy from the left winger, Winslow. Something you need if you want to be successful running this 4-3-3. Wingers that can run and are willing to defend their position. Ball in towards Letko, but she has, she waited for it. Didn't track it down. This one will come off of Moreau. This one not kept in. That was Krebs, the senior from Newport Beach, California. A good number of California <laughs> kids on these two rosters. Engineers with a couple. In Alarian and Hansen. And you have Krebs. And uh, Chipman. And McFarland and Moss and Pillsbury. <laughs> Andrews, Savage. It's a lot for a couple of schools in upstate New York. We have a player down, so we're going to have a stoppage here with just 1.5 seconds left in the half. You may just want to run the final second off and get to that halftime, but we're going to wait for it here. One nothing is the RPI lead. Thanks to an own goal. Which uh, came earlier in the half. Came in the 31st minute. Just four ticks in. But has RPI in the lead here. We're going to have this break, and then in a second and a half, we're going to have a whole halftime. So a little bit odd. They want to make sure they take care of this uh, faster player. Didn't see what happened. You know, trainers on hand here, of course. Get a chance to tell you what's coming up here for RPI Women's Soccer. They hit the road next weekend for the North Country trip. They head to Clarkson on Friday, 4 p.m., St. Lawrence on Saturday at 2 p.m. The Brewers next up. Uh, Vassar is at RIT and William Smith next weekend. So a lot of this Liberty League is the player that was down is back on her feet and walking. That's good to see. That was... Uh, Carolina Alvarez, the junior from Weston, Florida. She's up on her feet and walking back to the bench. So good news on that front. Hopefully Alvarez is okay and will be able to return. There is a substitution, however. She'll have to come off and there will be a new left back. Looks like it's Jordan Matthews, although I could be wrong there. She's very far away. There it will do it for the half as it's played to center by Ham. 1-0 RPI leading on a 31st minute Vassar own goal. We'll have the second half coming up in just a bit. You're watching RPI Women's Soccer on RPI TV. Thank you. 
that's all that's all we had in the closet. But it's better than nothing.
Second half about to get underway. RPI and Vassar from East Campus Stadium. The Brewers have scored 25 goals this year so far, allowed now 14. While the Engineers, on the other hand, a little stingier, they've scored 16, now allowed 4. Ball played ahead for Zimpetta. Just pries it away from the Vassar defense. Now into the middle for Winslow. What will she do with it? Hammering it. A little bit ambitious for Steinmetz. Can't quite get there. Looks like I have a new hairstyle for Manny Steinmetz. Looks like she's got some kind of braids going on now. The ball scooped up in the air. Kaplan just whacks it up the sideline. Out for a Vassar throw. The engineer's in the lead on a own goal. First own goal. 
either way for them in this season. Well, either scored or conceded. Ball played all the way across. Winslow has it. Drops it back for May. Steph May. Combination play wide. Moreau back for May. May into the feet of Zampetta. Touches it on for Richard. That's cleared out. It will be kept in. Here comes Lyons all the way out of her net. She's about 30 yards away from her goal. Up the wing. Flicked on by May. And now Ham. Carolina Alvarez, the junior, who was injured right at the end of the half. This ball somehow staying in along the line. Scooped up the sideline. Oh, now to play. Alvarez is not the uh, start of the second half. It's Sarah uh, De Benedictus in there. Number seven, sophomore from Norwell, Massachusetts. Here's a throw into the box. Bouncing, headed by Hansen. Still loose. Runs right through Moreau. Now along the sideline, it's Pillsbury, and the ball played to a clear offside. Whistle will go here against the Brewers. Through the middle, settling there is Pillsbury. Played wide by Deach, and this will roll all the way into the box, but covered by Lyons. She covers a lot of ground, and she does so once again. Lyons had a career high nine saves against William Smith last Saturday. Engineers falling in that one, one nothing. Both of their losses, Engineers, this year have been one nothing losses to the current number one team in the country. The first came September 18 at Williams. RPI lost one nothing on a penalty kick, and then one nothing to the Herons after RPI beat RIT. Now here's Steph May dribbling right at the Vassar defense, slotting it through. Waterman, right-footed shot, and it goes wide. <laughs> Terrific attempt there from the engineers. Have to think if that ball's on Waterman's left foot, she buries it, but it kind of spun off the outside of her right. Great pass, good through ball, right in stride from Steph May, who has a couple assists already this year, and you can see why. This is a tremendously weighted ball into the penalty area. Well weighted. Waterman lobbing, ball flicked on, it'll run all the way to Topolsky. Stephanie Topolsky, senior out of Louisville, Kentucky. Numbers for her this year. She started 10 of 11 games, 4 and 5. Her record with one shutout, 110 goals against, 766 save percentage. Brewers have turned it on right when you're supposed to. League play. They're 5-5-1, five, five and one, which doesn't look great, but they're 3-0 and oh in the conference already. Already kind of a head start on both Vassar and RPI. The contenders here, the presumed contenders now that we've seen how the season has begun. Here's a great run from the midfield from McFarland. A left-footed cross all the way through. Tracking it down Pillsbury. A little step over. Poked by Moreau out for a throw. Six minutes into the second half, 51st minute. one nothing. RPI leading Vassar. Ball headed to the edge of the 18. Lifted back out wide, another cross in. Lions calling and sliding and smothering. More aggressive play from Joey Lyons, what we've come to expect from her so far. Hammers this punt. Although the Brewers corral it. Deach. Settled nicely by Steinmetz and finds Kaplan in one touch. 
Sempeta turning is May. Richard has to deal uh, with Sepper out there. She'll turn it back and find Nestor. Jen Nestor. Good feed ahead for May and now finds Hansen. This is good possession from RPI. Kaplan skips through her. The center back all the way out to play. And they'll just play it out. That was Coughlin. The sophomore from Duluth, Minnesota. Duluth, uh, about three and a half hours north of the Twin Cities, where I grew up in Minnesota, St. Paul, Minneapolis area. Here's another long throw here for Hansen. Flicked on, headed on by Richard over the top. Good effort from the freshman. Jackie Richard from Southwick, Massachusetts. As I mentioned, she picked up her first collegiate goal against Rutgers Camden on Wednesday. Back come the Brewers. Ball into the box, headed down. And then poked at by Richard. Little run out for a throw. I'm not sure who they're going to give this to. We'll say it's Vassar's ball if Kaplan didn't agree. RPI recently made its way into the top. 25, but more importantly, in the regional rankings, which is what determines who makes the NCAA tournament, RPI sitting third. Poked on by Winslow, trying to get around the last second defender, no. Winslow wins another one, Waterman trying to slot it through. On the same page there with Winslow, she had not started to make the run. Brewers can't keep it in along the far touch line. Hansen trying to find Kaplan. She's been relatively quiet today, Emily Kaplan. She has six of RPI's 16 goals this year. Five of them have been game winners. That's good for second most in all of Division Three women's soccer. Lions taking a pass back from Nestor. She'll just uh, play it up in the air before trying to get back to her position in the box. Loose ball. Engineers will win it back. Hansen again. With another boomer up the wing. Kaplan trying to track it down. Now she'll play it in for Zimpetta. She gets a touch to it. But it will be played out by Coughlin. Coughlin and Zimpetta have had a pretty good battle going when they've both been in there. And it continues here in the second half. Maddie Stymus to take the throw for RPI. Stymus has been a staple at right back ever since last year. She came in as a freshman. She's been out there. His current back line. No seniors on it. A couple of juniors and Hansen and Nestor in the middle, and then a freshman out wide left in Moreau and a sophomore on the right. Here's May. Looking to carve through the Vassar midfield. Draws the defender and plays Waterman wide. Waterman a step over. On further for Moreau. Lost it for a second, and then a bit of a heavy touch over the end line. Goal kick for Vassar with RPI leading this one. 1-0, a 31st minute own goal. Off a long throw from Bethany Hansen. You can really credit her. It was kind of just uh, bungled around by the Brewers in their own six-yard box and found its way into the net. I will take it. There's a header won by Hansen. Jackie Richard 
Touching it wide for Kaplan. Kaplan looking to settle. Smartly waits and finds Nestor. Trying to play into Richard with lots of pressure on her back and it's won by the Brewers. Krasinski, although it's given right back. And the engineers give it away again. Krasinski back on it. Krasinski has played a solid game, as I mentioned in that midfield. Just winning balls for the Brewers. Turning them quickly the other way. Here's the ball skipping into the RPI penalty area. Hansen touching it out, trying to find Waterman. As Winslow now has it on the wing. She's pressured, double team, lost the ball. Out for a faster throw. Winslow visibly unhappy with her teammates there. Didn't really have an option when she received the ball out wide and letting her fellow engineers know about it. There's a ball up the sideline. This will run too far. It'll be a goal kick for RPI. Shots are 8-6 engineers, 4-2 on goal. Only two shots here in the second half. Both of them have missed the target. One, excuse me, two for RPI, one for Vassar. None have hit the target. Lions goal kick, headed back. Touched on by Andrews. There's a race for the ball. Hanson will get her left foot on it. And clear it out for a throw. Brewers haven't looked too dangerous, but the ball is spending a little more time in RPI's defensive third than they'd like right now. Bouncing ball again towards the top of the 18. Need to be careful here. As the player goes down, we're going to get a penalty here. Almost in slow motion, Andrews went down. And we're going to have a penalty kick here. That's really a tough call for RPI. It looks like Andrews is going to be the one to take it as well. I'm going to get the benefit of watching this again. A referee will not. And Waterman just got her legs tangled. Eh, you can't do that if you're Kenzie Waterman. Now a lot of veteran referees might call that a free kick on the edge of the box. We'll see what Andrews does with this penalty kick. She scores. Right in the right side. It's 1-1. Right inside the post. Lions went the right way. But it is a goal. We are tied at one. As much as you say it's a bad break for RPI, if you're Waterman, you really can't put your foot there. You just have to hold your ground. Andrews was moving away from the net, really at the edge of the 18. The Brewers lucky to get the penalty call and they get the goal as well. Andrews with her sixth goal this season. Her second penalty, she's two for two from the spot. And it's a 1-1 game. RPA will need to find uh, it's more of that offensive the play they had going through most of this game. It lagged a little bit over the last 10 minutes or so here early in the second half and it turned into a goal for Vassar. So 1-1, one, one. this is a little bit reminiscent of Wednesday's game. RPI had all the attack, all the possession. And we get a whistle here and a foul. And we go on Vassar.
A PK and an own goal in this one. We're tied at one. 60 minute mark. We've just hit it. And there's more Winslow defending, winning a goal kick there. That's once again a tremendous effort from your left winger. Tracking all the way back to her own end line to shield the ball out for a goal kick. Really just can't teach that. Lions kick right back to her. Bass are doing something that a lot of teams haven't challenged in the engineers in the air, and they've won a lot of those header balls. Steinmetz lobbing on, flicked on by Waterman. Headed right back. There's a good ball played in. Out comes Lyons, and she wins that race as well. So crucial. And there's a good win there by Hansen. That was a poor call. I don't know even what she saw there. We're going to call a foul on Hansen. Looks like she did well to step in and win that one. Shot off the crossbar, rebound over the top. It'll be a go down as a save for Lyons, although she didn't handle it as well as she'd have liked. Second shot high over from Krasinski. It's been a bizarre one, you can say that. Pretty well played, though, between these two Liberty League teams. Waterman slotting it behind Kaplan. Nestor gets her head to that. Hansen steps into another. Moreau trying to win the ball there. Now she takes down the faster player. Now we're not going to get a foul? Goodness. I was going to say, we've had some great officiating throughout this year, but not on this night. Here's a ball crossed in. Steinmetz. Slams it upfield. And uh, looks like Zimpeta tripped up. Coughlin. get a call here either. This out for a throw. It'll be Vassar ball. No, 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 no. Oh, RPI throwing. 26 and a half minutes left in regulation. RPI and Vassar tied at one. Hansen to take the throw from the right sideline. Over Zampetta's head. Header one again by Coughlin. I believe I've said that a number of times today. Again, Hansen over the top. May flicking on. Zampetta can't quite get there. A little bit too direct, a little too straight with the ball there, right in the arms of Topolsky. Now yeah, we get a whistle here and a foul on Vassar. A free kick for RPI in a pretty dangerous spot. They can get a ball played into the penalty area. It'll be Hansen to deliver. Good ball in. Comes down. Winslow swings and misses. Still loose. And it's cleared. Hansen had the assist on the game winner on Wednesday. And she played uh, streaking Kaplan into the uh, 
really it was clear from 30 yards in Kaplan was maybe even more and uh, scored a breakaway goal to win that one in the 101st minute a 2-1 to win over Rutgers Camden Hanson's throw header won by the Brewers that time it was Lavelle cleared off of Hanson and it will yes will be kept in Headed on, and now the Brewers on the run. Nestor, good foot there. May. Taken back by Pillsbury. Now Nestor slamming it forward. Out to grab it will be Topolsky. And he was trying to regain what they had. They were possessing the ball. Tough to get that back when the game opens up a little bit like it has recently. Any players that are good and calm on the ball, like a Steph May, just put her foot on it. Steinmetz lobbing up the wing. Can Zampetta get there? Does enough to win a throw in. Sarcastic cheers from the RPI fans who are not happy, I don't think, with how this one has been called. Zimpetta heads it on. Kaplan trying to get there. Lavelle got a foot to it. Now it's cleared. RPI throw coming. Remember, there's a new left back out there. Carolina Alvarez has not come back after suffering that injury late in the first half. It's been uh, Sarah... Uh, De Benedictus at left back for the Brewers. Here's a throw coming from Hansen. A little over 23 to go in the game. To the top of the 18, swinging a volley at it. Uh, her left leg was Waterman. Would have been a circus kind of shot there, but it went over the top of the net. Faster with a sub after the Waterman shot. Get that to you in a moment. Zampetta wins the ball up the sideline. Another ball in. Headed down. Richard. Flicked on a little heel pass. That's all Waterman could do with it, but she got it to May. Winslow again. Gets it to her right foot. Low cross in. Cleared out. Cutting it back is Moreau. Her ball into the box. Kaplan looking to settle. Her left-footed shot, I believe, is blocked. Out for a corner. No. Jordan Moss has come into the game for Vassar. But the engineers continue to attack. Zampetta had it knocked away. And it's played out for an RPI throw in. Still plenty of time left, 20 minutes. Here in regulation, if the teams are still tied, we'll have two 10 minute overtime periods. Those are, of course, golden goal. If we still don't have a winner, we'll just have a tie, one point each, in the conference standings. Krasinski with another. Ball one in the defensive end. Hansen with a decent touch, flicked on by the head of Moreau. And out for a throw in. I'd like to thank all of you joining us this evening for RPI Women's Soccer. RPI TV folks sticking around for an impromptu double header. Probably the biggest game left on the home schedule for RPI. Still has Union coming up. It's a night game on a Wednesday. So, of course, can't count that one out. But I guess there's only two home games left in total. RPI looking. We have a foul here on Vassar. And here's hoping they'll be hosting another game later 
maybe in early November. Liberty League Tournament, first round, top two teams host the bottom two. So RPI can try and get to that top two spots. Of course, the William Smith Herons already beat RPI, so they have that going against them, which makes this game so crucial with Vassar at 3-0. You have to think these two teams would be the ones currently vying for those spots. Just the way that things have looked so far, of course, you don't really know what you're going to get in league play until you play the games. St. Lawrence looks like a solid club as well this year. Although this faster team beat the Saints 4-1, to one, I believe. Let me double check on that for you. 4 nothing in Poughkeepsie. Back on October 1st last Saturday. Hansen slams this one upfield and again she wins it. Waterman gave it right away. Now the Brewers have numbers. Shot coming and it goes wide. Sepper could have been a little bit more unselfish there. Vassar had numbers going forward. She elected to take a shot from about 25 yards out. As well as RPI has played defensively, they've been a little bit clumsy. It's turned into a couple chances here for Vassar. And again, they keep winning these balls at midfield. They've won seemingly three quarters of the head balls in this game. Waterman. Again, see that challenge there. Sends the ball back the other way. That time it was Krasinski. Andrews. Look at Winslow get back. Playing it wide for Moreau. She will keep it in. They say things like it doesn't show up in the box score in other sports. Not a lot shows up in a soccer box score, to be honest. But what Winslow is able to do at both ends of the field. Certainly notice for those who watch. But there is no stat for coming back to win a ball like that. Here's Waterman. Kaplan. Could use some more late game magic from Emily Kaplan. She seems to have it all the time. And every time. More like. There's a good turn in the midfield. Jordan Moss gets free. She's fresh. She just came on here in the second half. Pillsbury looking to play a ball in. Look at Winslow get back again. I should stop being shocked by that, right? The ball's played up the sideline. Kaplan kept the ball on her right foot and made it easy for De Benedictus to win it. Now Kaplan playing forward. And it's not on the same page there with Zimpetta. Coughlin. With some time and space to look up field. Finds the feet of Deitch. Good connection there. Moss. Not sure where that pass was headed. It went right to Hansen. Now a misplay on the right. Let's Winslow run free. Now a long shot, I think, from Waterman. It was about 15 or so yards wide. We have a substitution coming up here for Vassar. Substitution. Get it to you in a second. We're under 16 minutes to go in regulation. Jen Nestor steps in and wins a nice one there. Headed back by Kaplan. Richard down trying to find some Peta. And again it's cleared. Pretty much what we've expected so far out of these two teams. A close game, it's 1-1. Wide and a bit behind the intended target. It'll be tracked down by Sepper. Now Nestor. Back for the keeper. And out from Lyons. Tackle one again by the Brewers. One touch in, Nestor out. Too far for May. Krasinski. Into the feet of McFarland. 
Krasinski determined to play that ball right into Moreau and RPI wins it back. Now a ball up the wing. Kaplan has the speed to get to it. You can see her the closing speed there. Plays it up the sideline. May trying to turn with it. Played through Steinmetz. Now Hansen over. A little bit of a shoulder fake to clear up some room and find Nestor on the turn. Nestor upfield for Zampetta. Laying it off between two teammates and it's cleared again. Hansen once more. Into Richard. Richard gives it away to Moss. Krasinski. Turning. Great ball up the wing. Although Moreau may have a step here. Wins the tackle. Comes off the Vassar defender. Now Lyons. Well, thought she might let it up for a goal kick, and she will. Substitution coming for the Engineers. As the previous sub I mentioned for Vassar was McFarlane coming on for Deitch. This one is uh, Waterman off for Sarah Harper in the midfield for RPI. There you get a look at Joey Lyons, the RPI freshman goalkeeper. He's been the league's defensive performer of the week already as a freshman. Now Nestor can't find it. And now the Brewers are breaking in. Cross is blocked by Hansen. Another ball in. Over Steinmetz. RPI needs to be careful in the penalty area here. Moss plays it over her own head. And then up to get it is Joey Lyons. The applaud of the fans below. She'll use her arm this time and play it ahead. Lots of space for Hansen. Or make it May rather. Steph May on the move. No one's closing her down. She'll take that space. Wide for Kaplan. Kaplan's cross in. Flicked on by Richard. Settled by Winslow. And her shot goes high. Ball never really sat down for Corey Winslow. It was a good play all the way around. The engineers working the ball up the sideline. Right off the throw from their goalkeeper, Lyons. May. About a 40-yard run up field. Nobody closed her down. She ended up finding Kaplan after drawing a defender. And the cross was flicked to the far post. Winslow just didn't have the finishing touch there. Krasinski. That one slams off of a Vassar leg. Should be an RPI throw. With 12 and a half to go in this one. Second half has been entertaining. A penalty kick for the Brewers. Finished by Rebecca Anders, her sixth of the season, as this game tied after an own goal in the 31st minute. Put RPI in the lead. Nestor. Good touch on for May. Zampetta smashes it off the face of Coughlin. It'll be an RPI throw in. Have to be tough to play center back, and Coughlin showing it there. Took that one right. I believe in the forehead. Not even rubbing it. Hansen to take the throw. 12 minutes left. In a 1-1 game. Ball bounces into the six, headed in the air. That's a good foot there on the clearance. I believe that was Coughlin. Now Steinmetz just gives it right to McFarland. Moss on the left side. Hansen to the far side. That ball kind of ate up Winslow. She's able to get a foot on it. Now Krasinski twisting and turning. Well defended by Harper. Now it's going to be McFarlane again. Playing it wide. Here comes Pillsbury now. Watched all the way across the field. That's good marking. Good defending from the freshman, Moreau. Pushing Pillsbury all the way back into the midfield. A square ball in. Who wants it? Moss. To the corner of the box. Steinmetz will take a look around and just play it out for a throw. Had more time than that.
The ball played in, well wide. That was Andrews, and another attempt from distance. Ball headed in the air. May. Up the sideline, can Winslow get there? Out for an RPI throw. for RPI. Substitution here. It, uh, will be Kenzie Waterman back on for Harper. Race for the ball up the wing. The cross comes in. Nobody home. Easily gathered there. Eight to go in regulation. Steinmetz gets her shin to that. Another substitution here, this time for Vassar. Moss is going to head off. She put her time in. They're going to get, I believe, Deitch back out here. Shots are 12-11 RPI. Two corners still each in the game. It always feels like RPI has more corners than they do, but that's just because of Hansen's throwing ability. Some kind of siren going off here in Troy. Bouncing ball in the box. Plenty of time for Nestor. She clears it as far as Kaplan, who's pulled back deep into her own end to help out. Kaplan again steps into this one. Wins the ball. Good pass for May. May with some time and space. We need to wait for some help. Only Winslow's with her. She finds Corey Winslow. Cuts it back. Still Winslow into May. May looking for some room. Just gets a poke on it with her left foot. Nestor steps in. Chipping to the top of the box. Headed away. Richard. May. Back to Richard. Richard will line up a shot, and that one goes wide. Six minutes to go. Waterman lobbing it in. Coughlin out. Headed on by Richard. Steinmetz gets it back from Kaplan. Krasinski up the wing. This will run out. Will it be a corner or maybe see a goal kick or a throw? And looks like a uh, goal kick coming. Five minutes to go here in regulation. Another 
Header one in the midfield for Vassar. Stepping in, Laval. She'll continue her run. Ball popped in the air by Pillsbury. And out for a Vassar throw in. Into the box. Calls for another penalty. Mass are not going to get this one. There's a Brewer offside here. Let's we'll see if the flag goes up. No. Probably should have. She stepped in to try and win that ball. Chance to cross there. Just not a good touch there. Along the end line. That was Jordan Matthews. Or make it Deach rather getting into the attack. Kaplan flicks on for Zampetta. She'll poke it on further. Steinmetz will retrieve this one with a little bit of time and space. Smashes it up. Richards flicks on. And this will roll in. Winslow trying to win it. And there's a collision. Corey Winslow just throwing everything she has into that challenge. Luckily, everyone's all right. Topolsky will roll it. Nestor. Plays it out for a vaster throw. 2.25 to go in regulation. Well, we've seen why Vassar has scored so many goals. They're very offensive minded. They have some talent up front. No question about that. We have a throw in coming here for RPI right in the corner. Engineers done a pretty good job defensively. And the ball's headed out by Richard for an RP for a vaster throw, I should say. Just a little bit of a mental breakdown there. Kenzie Waterman does not need to foul or even put her foot near Anders at the top of the penalty area with her back to goal. Turned into a penalty kick. Now a chance again for Anders. Roll right in and a save by Lyons. Big save for Joey Lyons. Can the engineers turn this into positive energy here? Get something before regulation time. Ends. Minute 14 left. Big save. Really a positional save there for Joey Lyons. But one nonetheless. Here's May. What will she do? A couple of step overs. May gets free, although challenge one. Steinmetz. Nestor. Over the top, Winslow. A little bit too much on it. Could be headed to overtime here. Richard has it pop in the air. Would be back to back games for RPI. He played in overtime. Just a few days ago against Rutgers Camden. That one comes off of Zampetta. Kaplan trying to find it. So is May now. Krasinski does enough to get it as far as Moreau, although she can't control. Nestor wins a header over Moreau's head into the feet of Winslow. Now Richard with 13, slamming it forward. And a smart play there to just let it bound to Topolsky. She'll punt with six. And that will do it for regulation two, one. There it is. There's the horn ending the regulation time. 90 minutes played. We're headed to OT here. Of course we are. It's RPI and Vassar. Two extra points on the line. If we can find a winner in the next 20 
or sooner. We'll have that overtime for you in just a moment. You're watching RPI Women's Soccer on RPI TV. Everybody ready for overtime? Because it doesn't matter. We have it here. RPI and Vassar. Ten minutes on the clock. We are underway in OT. First of potentially two overtime periods. It's the Brewers controlling. Krasinski. RPI from right to left to get things started here in overtime. Touch towards the sideline. 
with a nutmeg there from Pillsbury. Pillsbury in, crossing, turning, shooting, and they score. Vassar wins it. Amanda McFarland scores just 32 seconds into overtime, and it's a two to one victory for Vassar. It usually happens quickly or not at all, and that's what we saw tonight. McFarlane with the goal. A two to one victory in overtime for the Brewers. They take all three points here. Tough one for RPI. As they fall. Engineers now nine and three overall, one and two in the Liberty League. The Brewers six, five and one, four and oh in conference play. I'd like to thank all of you for watching tonight's game and for everybody here at RPI TV. Your final score once again was Vassar 2 and RPI 1 in overtime. You've been watching RPI Women's Soccer on RPI TV.